Today is Friday the 10th of February. In Battle Drill Devotionals this week, we've been hearing God's people cry out for help and God's answer through his covenant, reminding us that God knows the best time to act. We've been reading Exodus chapter 2, verses 11 to 25, and we turn to it for the last time this week today. Today, we're reading from the Message Translation. Time passed. Moses grew up. One day he went and saw his brothers, saw all that hard labour. Then he saw an Egyptian hit a Hebrew, one of his relatives. He looked this way and then that. When he realised there was no one in sight, he killed the Egyptian and buried him in the sand. The next day he went out there again. Two Hebrew men were fighting. He spoke to the man who started it. Why are you hitting your neighbour? The man shot back. Who do you think you are telling us what to do? Are you going to kill me the way you killed that Egyptian? Then Moses panicked. Word's gotten out. People know about this. Pharaoh heard about it and tried to kill Moses, but Moses got away to the land of Midian. He sat down by a well. The priest of Midian had seven daughters. They came and drew water, filling the troughs and watering their father's sheep. When some shepherds came and chased the girls off, Moses came to their rescue and helped them water their sheep. When they got home to their father, Ruel, he said, That didn't take long. Why are you back so soon? An Egyptian, they said, rescued us from a bunch of shepherds. Why, he even drew water for us and watered the sheep. He said, So where is he? Why did you leave him behind? Invite him so so he could have something to eat with us. Moses agreed to settle down there with the man, who then gave his daughter Zipporah, Bird, to him for his wife. She had a son, and Moses named him Geshom, Sojourner, saying, I'm a sojourner in a foreign country. Many years later, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites groaned under their slavery and cried out. Their cries for relief from their hard labour ascended to God. God listened to their groanings. God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. God saw what was going on in Israel. God understood. Amen. Do you ever find yourself in a hopeless situation? I'm wondering if praying about it will actually work. When all around you seems hopeless, when God seems silent and uninterested in your situation, it's tempting to think that prayer is a waste of time. It would have been tempting for the Israelites to look at their situation, the might of the Egyptians, the hundreds of years of slavery they had endured, and to think, well, God's forgotten us. Who do we think we are, even thinking God would be interested in our plight? But prayer works because God is in control, and he always comes through on his promises. He had promised the Israelites that they were his chosen people. His power and authority were greater than the Egyptians, and now was the time for him to act. In his wisdom and goodness, he sent Moses to be their leader and to lead them out of Egypt and slavery. Your situation is in God's control. You may not be able to change it, but he can. Pray to him. Leave your situation with him. He's in control. He knows best, and he will answer at the right time and in the right way. As you think about these things during your day-to-day, this question may help you delve a little deeper. How do your prayers reveal whether you genuinely believe God is in control of the universe? And I hope to see you again soon for some more Battle Drill devotionals. In the meantime, may God richly bless you.